The Detroit Sports Zone is holding its eighth annual Hall of Fame banquet this month to induct the 2019 High School Hall of Fame honorees. The organization recognizes outstanding former athletes who attended Detroit Public High Schools, as well as supporters who have made my major contributions to athletics. The evening also includes the presentation of scholarships to current high school and college students. Here to tell us more are members of the Detroit Sports Zone Board of Directors. Chair Laval Perry, Board Member Ronald Woods, and Scholarship Chair Brenda Gatlin. Welcome all of you to American Black Journal. Thank you. Thank it's you. great Thank to you. be Thank here. I, I, love this, uh, I love this organization. I love this event um, because this is a city with an incredible sports history and you guys bring that into focus. Well, Fred, uh, thank you for allowing us to be here to share uh, the good news that we have from the Detroit Sports Zone. And, and basically, uh, yes, we are an organization, a nonprofit organization that has really uh, developed a three-tiered type of uh, activity within our organization. Uh, one being that we do recognize former athletes from the metro De uh, Detroit area. Mm -hmm. And we also participate in a collaborative method, me methodology of, of nonprofits to further their causes within the community. Mm -hmm. And the last thing that we actually do is uh, we have uh, scholarships that we award to students that are college bound. Yeah. And that is a very exciting process for us. Yeah, uh, Ronald, tell us how you decide each year Who's going to be honored? Well, it's a very difficult task yeah. because uh, we have so many, many great legends to consider. Um, we, 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 vote, we vote and take suggestions from the community as well as uh, past board members and past nominees and awardees. Uh, this year, our, 20, our 2019 class consists of uh, people like Hilton Napoleon in mm -hmm. baseball, mm -hmm. uh, Wendy Trevelyan in gym, gymnast, Stan Edwards in football, Gary Waters in uh, basketball, Ella Willis in track, Ted Talbert uh, in, uh, well, Ted was a deceased posthumous, yeah. and Pepper Johnson in football, Selena Johnson in golf, and Hatch uh, Cliff Hatchard in track, and Bill Jones in uh, posthumous also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, when you think about all of the choices that you have, I mean, again, it's got to be a little overwhelming each year to come up with uh, with who's going to who's going to make the cut. Tell us some of the things that you, you, you think about. Well, among the things we consider are not just what they did as an athlete, but what have they done uh, after athletics, mm -hmm. uh, community activism, things that they've done to uh, uh, be fundamentals of basic good citizens and things that inspire young people that uh, people would uh, in, in, in ingratiate the, the nominees to. Um, our, our nominees started at a list of much bigger than, yeah. much, <laughs> much bigger than 10. Right. And we, we have to get that number down to a manageable number. Yeah. And this year we have gotten it down to 10. Yeah. Uh, recognize Fred, we've only been doing this for eight years. Yeah. And the city of Detroit has had outstanding athletes for the last maybe 70 years. For, yes, yes. And yeah. uh, so it has been a very difficult task and somehow um, maybe we should hold this event twice a year. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but, so you can get more but, people in, right? Absolutely. But yeah. no, it is, um, it's a difficult task, but you know, we have managed to go through it and, and the athletes we have selected are just uh, they're stellar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me about the scholarships that uh, you uh, I guys was first. As well. uh, I am uh, honorable. I'm grateful, immeasurably <laughs> grateful, to have the opportunity to be the scholarship uh, chair as a former administrator and retired administrator with DPS mm -hmm. CD. Mm -hmm. And uh, our signature event not only focuses on the past, but focuses on the future. The future. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the last year we gave out <clears throat> five one thousand dollar scholarships, hmm. and this year. We're upping our ante. Yeah. We're giving out seven. <laughs> okay. And this is for the students to utilize in the manner that they need to to ensure their academic success. Yeah. They are, many of them are first, co uh, first college bound students. First generation. First generation, yeah. thank you, college yeah. bound students. And uh, from Detroit and Metro Detroit. We have a couple from Michigan State University, one who goes to University of Detroit, Mercy, and uh, Wayne State, uh, WC3, mm -hmm. Henry Ford Community College. So 
Uh, you know, we are certainly focused on making sure that we have identified and they each had to have a 3.0 grade point average to mm -hmm. even apply. And then, of course, we ask for a copy of their schedule to make sure that they are in college <laughs> right. and um, also that they have to write an essay indicating why, how this scholarship will, will benefit them yeah. during their collegiate journey. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. It is. Well, I mean, and this is, this is uh, you know, sort of passing it forward, right? Yes. So this great legacy of athleticism in, uh, and service in, in Detroit moves on to the next the next, the generation next level of kids. the next generation yeah. and that's what we're all about yeah. absolutely honoring the past but also focusing on the future right, right. yeah uh, one of the things about athletics in the city and great athletes from from the past is is this idea that it leads to other things and it doesn't always necessarily lead to professional sports it leads to remarkable lives and careers in other sure. Places and I feel like you guys do a good job of uh, of pulling that out as well. Well, sure. You know, one of the things I like to just point out is that uh, if you look at some of the the graduates from this area that have come back to support this organization, mm -hmm. uh, George Gervin, mm -hmm. uh, graduate of King, Martin Luther King High School, has greatly endorsed this uh, this organization and has given you know scholarships this year mm -hmm. and last year. Uh, Jerome Bettis, yes. uh, Tom Seaburn, a graduate mm -hmm. of Cass Tech is also uh, a financier of this program. Mm -hmm. And these are all professional guys that played in the NFL and the NBA. Yeah. Uh, Greg Kelser uh, also is another guy. And then we have some non-business people who have also supported us, like Mr. Uh, Mr. Torrey, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Wayne Wheeler. These are people, again, who are residents of the Metro Detroit. Mm -hmm. Some are athletes, some are not, but they've gone on to say this is a worthy program, and they have put their endorsement on this support, this yeah, support. Yeah. Uh, do you worry with uh, with the way that uh, things have changed in the city, with the opportunities for people, kids especially, to get involved in athletics? That it'll be harder to to find sort of distinguished athletes in in, in a few decades or years because we're just not uh, we're not giving the opportunities. That's probably the last thing I worry about. Yeah. Detroit has a plethora of, of, <laughs> of good athletes, great athletes, yeah. who uh, over the over, over the years have really had a strong interest and in tell their story to motivate young people that they can to that they can get involved in things outside athletes yeah. uh, in athletics. Uh, Across the board, where where we with just, with just an optimism of being and seeing the right uh, c kind of people that it takes yeah. to be athletes and see standouts. Yeah. And some of my former players, I coached uh, basketball. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. yeah first woman to coach a men's team. <laughs> Is that right? At Cass Tech, yes. Great school. And great many school. of the yeah, great. <laughs> many of them are coming back to get. Steve Hall is the basketball <clears throat> coach at Cass. Uh -huh. Latanya Tate is giving back and producing more scholar athletes. Yeah. Absolutely, they want to give back yeah. to the uh, the district and the school that, that gave them so much. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. What, 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 when was that, that you were the, uh, the men's in, basketball in coach there? In 86. Really? Yes, really? 85, 86, right, right, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Mrs. Wheatley uh, said you gotta do it and she was the principal at that time and I just finished the girls season because yeah. at that time we had the girls play in the fall okay. and the men played in the, in uh, the winter, in the winter yeah. right. So it was a great journey and we got a lot of publicity <laughs> and we had a good season, yeah. we sure did. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, so yeah. that was fun. So Go ahead. I just want to mention that, you know, to accommodate all of these different activities, right. we're going to be making uh, the presentations of the new inductees for 2019, as well as the nominations of our scholarship recipients mm -hmm. on the 27th of September, which is a Friday mm -hmm. uh, of this month. We're going to have our awards banquet down at the International Banquet Center, which is right above Fishbones in downtown Detroit. Right. Yes. And they can uh, purchase tickets uh, for $60 mm -hmm. uh, per person, and they can call uh, 989 Two three nine one six two three to purchase tickets for that evening. Yeah, and we'd be gladly, uh, you know, to give them as many as they need. But 
tickets are selling out very quickly. Yeah, yeah, no, I would imagine they are. And this is um, the first year that we're taking it out of Burt's. Oh, yeah, it's seven not years a, it was, it was at always Burt's. at Burt's. Right, yes. absolutely, <laughs> yes. So, okay. Anyway, we, we are very excited about uh, this year's event, and mm -hmm. again, if they want tickets, they can, they can call myself yeah. or they can call that number, and believe me, we would be more than happy to accommodate anyone that comes down because it's going to be a great evening. Yeah. And yeah. of course, we need to mention that this organization was, has always been a dream of Wagner, um, who really, this was his, his, this was his, his dream. His yes. Dream. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, congratulations, and uh, we'll have all that info on our website as well. So, okay. yeah. thanks right. for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.